right, Coach, new season, new beginning. What is different this season? Well, we're much more experienced, much older. Uh, we're not an old team because we don't have any seniors, but uh, we have five juniors, four sophomores. These guys have all played in a lot of college basketball games. So we're much more experienced and, uh, you know, I think much more prepared to, to enter the season and uh, be very competitive right from the beginning. Speaking of that, Chris, Delaware Longwood, uh, last two season openers. Do you address that? Do you just assume everybody figures we got to turn it up a little bit? Uh, to a certain extent. I, I don't necessarily think we, we will watch any film or anything like that, John, but just talking about the importance of the first game, um, you know, watching, like most people watching a ton of games last night, it's very sloppy and not the most crisp basketball. Uh, and that, that tends to happen early in the season and you're overwhelmed by your own expectations or your own goals. Uh, so really just making sure we play a possession at a time, you know, trying to be as advanced as we possibly can. You feel you mentioned the experience. Has that allowed you to kind of be ahead? Are you ahead now of where you were last year at this time? Just you know, fundamentally yeah. and just what you've been able to do? For sure, in terms of just implementing uh, offense, uh, special situations, those kinds of things, there's just more time because we, we can pick up the, the traditional parts of it much more quickly. So we feel like we're ahead. You know, once the game starts, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but we do feel like we're ahead and we're prepared for this moment much more so than we were last year. What led you to make the switch wholeheartedly defensively? Yeah. Yeah, I would say, you know, we, we we had played a little bit of, we played half and half probably a few years ago. And, uh, you know, I think just our, our lack of, we were really young last year, so we were more than likely not going to be great on defense. Uh, we were worse than that. And I think just the toughness that comes with playing man-to-man -man and, you know, competing uh, in practice every day as a man-to-man -man team uh, was really important for us. Uh, I feel like for a long time our matchup was really, um, really effective and, and a, you know, something that was really difficult for teams to adjust to. And uh, that didn't seem to be the case uh, the last couple of seasons. Uh, but I would say just as much as anything, just our toughness and making sure that, you know, as we got more mature, that we also improved at that, that part of the game. People make too much out of the rebounding numbers from the scrimmage last week, or is it a bit of a concern going into Friday? Well, you know, uh, it, everything's a concern. And so, um, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily think so. I think there are some parts of play into that game, how many three-point shots were taken in our scrimmage game. We, re we rebounded very well. So uh, I hope that, w you know, we're working at it and working more at it than ever. And hopefully the switch in man to man-to-man -man defense will really help us with that. Coach, you mentioned after the last game you'd like to see Nate assert himself a little bit more, be that rebounding offensively, you know, footwork positioning. What specifically yeah. are you looking for him to do? Well, just attack the game. You know, I think that Nate, I mean, he had 19 free throws in a college basketball game last year. He had some really, really uh, great performances. He had a game winner in the conference tournament. You know, he's experienced enough. He's worked extremely hard. You know, I would, I would nominate him as one of the guys who's most improved. He's worked extremely hard, and this is the fun part. So just to go out uh, and enjoy it, and the best way to enjoy it is be as, as aggressive as possible, and then all good things will happen for him. I think in the game, too, Blake showed, like, you know, people have been saying how tough bucket getter is he can shoot the ball very yeah. well but at the same time there are a few plays where it seemed like you know kind of put the head down want a little tunnel vision where are you looking from him in terms of volume and shot selection yeah I would say volume uh will will play out the way it does I would say shot selection yeah I think he took a few bad shots I think that he needs to be aggressive uh so does Jacob and so does Grant so does Nick especially and and Nate um so I I think he needs to be aggressive and play and I think he'll find plenty of really good shots that he's very capable of making during the course of uh, during the course of the season Chris, the expectations five junior starters four experienced sophomores how do you feel you got pressure this year obviously there's pressure every year but two 20 lost seasons in your rearview mirror NCAA drought yeah no we feel we feel really good we feel confident we have a close team a team that works hard a team that's talented and experienced and uh, we feel really good and excited to play. I mean, um, you know, I, I think that this group is as much as any, partly because of the new rules in terms of being work, being able to work with the guys. But I feel like this team's as hungry to play as as any we've had. Does the new three point line change your offensive schemes? At yeah, all? Not, not necessarily. I, I think it'll show up in terms of. I, I just think it'll be harder for guys that are that are just decent shooters to make shots, and, and therefore I think those players' attempts will be down. Um, I think that'll be for every team, but I don't think it'll change too many 
things in terms of how we run our offense or what we're trying to accomplish. How much of their game? Did you watch any of their game last night? I did. I did. Uh, you know, it's, it's harder to scout a team when they've played VCU because, um, you know, they get sped up. Uh, they get a little bit out of their of the rhythm. Um, you know, all credit to VCU and their defense and the atmosphere and at first game. So uh, it's, it's helpful, but it's, it's not quite as helpful as if we saw them play somebody else. You guys, experience is kind of the key theme this year about especially your junior class. Do you guys feel that puts you, have, has put you ahead this offseason? Are you ahead now than you were last preseason? Um, I think so. Obviously, um, it's kind of given us an advantage. Um, I think bringing Nick back and then bringing in Blake, um, the offense will handle itself. So I think it's allowed us to work on our defense pretty much most of the offseason. How does the three-point line affect you? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little farther back than you'd expect. Um, kind of just looking at it, you don't think it's too far back. But um, it definitely requires a lot more effort and attention to detail in your shot. When did you start putting them up from back there? Um, I feel like I've been doing that for a while. <laughs> but, um, you know, just kind of like naturally, I feel like I, I don't toe the line. I'm kind of back already. So especially um, trying to adjust from that last year. Like last year, if I was a little farther back, it's probably where the line is now. So now if I'm a little bit off the line, it's close to the NBA line. It's pretty far. So um, I'm just trying to get used to it myself. Outside of shooting, uh, how does it free up the rest of your offense having, you know, maybe an extra, does an extra foot and a half make the inside that much more open? I think so. Um, I definitely think it'll help our offense out a lot. Um, all the back doors and, and the cuts that we do, um, especially having shooters on the floor, kind of just spaces everything out and stretches the defense. How do the growing pains of the last two years help you this year, both you guys, young leaders, and on the court? Um, I would say just, just kind of like anybody else, uh, just experience. Um, obviously, we've kind of been through it all. Like We've been through the ups and the downs. Um, we've seen games where we've been up, and the other team comes back, makes their run, and then they finish out the game. We've seen teams where they come out hot, and then we fire back with our own run and win. So um, I think we've just seen it all, and I think we're pretty battle-tested. Jacob, St. Francis relies a lot on the backcourt of Braxton and, uh, <laughs> Braxton and Blackman. We saw BC last night was limited to those two guys to 9 of 29 shooting. Do you think if you can uh, key in on those two guys, that defensively just everything else can fall into place? Um, they're a little bit better defensively than we've been, um, so I think it'll be a little different for us. But um, the idea of limiting them is probably going to be our, our goal. Did you watch? Uh, no. A little bit. Not too much. Grant, the early season results the last two years have not been what the fighters desired. Has that been addressed, the topic of conversation, and how do you think that might change as um, you guys kick it off, tip it off right? Yeah, for sure. I know that's something that we as a team – uh, on our own talk about a lot how you know we've had really poor opening games the last two years um, against Delaware and Longwood so we talk about it all the time um, but you know I don't think we're trying to approach it any differently um, we just need to lock in uh, pay attention to the scout here these next two days in practice and really just focus up and try and get ready so Um, I think just experience, um, you know, being able to start five juniors, that's something that we haven't even come close to the last two years. Um, lots of experience out there. And I think just chemistry, you know, obviously guys now have played a couple years together. Um, getting Nick back is great. He's meshed well. He's done really well in practice and everything. So I think those are the two biggest things for us, and uh, we're excited to see how it goes. Rebounding has always been a concern. Are people making too much over the numbers from the Randolph? exhibition and seeing you know what they were able to do on the boards or is that something that you guys are trying to address before Friday? I mean yeah definitely uh, you know we don't like to make too big of a deal about scrimmages whether we do well or do poorly obviously we didn't do a great job uh, rebounding against Randolph Macon uh, it is what it is but it's something that we've been working on all preseason all during the summer so uh, hopefully we can have a better showing on Friday and as we continue throughout the season. Against Randolph Macon, uh, Nate was only you know 0 of 2 from the field. You know, as a main distributor, how do you and the offense get more involved this Friday? Uh, yeah, you know, sort of like I said, like we don't like to look into scrimmages too much. Um, you know, I thought Nate played really well against Virginia Tech when we had our closed scrimmage. Um, so he had an off day, um, but definitely I think uh, it's going to be different for him this year in terms of you know who we have out there and the way that he finds his shots. But I think he's done a really great job with it so far here in the preseason. Um, you know, he's finding opportunities for himself through offensive rebounds and cutting to the basket. 
um, when I have it in the post specifically. So he's finding his opportunities and he's done a good job with it and we expect nothing less Friday night. Um, you know, obviously the matchup uh, is just so hard for fre especially freshmen coming in and learning um, all the different principles and everything that you have to learn and everything that goes into that. Um, it takes a lot of time to learn it as well. So I think, uh, you know, switching to man to man, everybody comes in with a background of playing man to man defense to some extent. So that puts us ahead of the curve. Um, so I think that helps and obviously We've put so much emphasis on it over the summer and all throughout the preseason. Uh, I think it'll be good for us overall. Grant, is there a sense of pressure at all about stakes being high for anything this season and, and you know, essentially having to have a good year? Or, or do you guys not really think that those are? Uh, yeah, I mean, stakes are high every year. Uh, stakes were high last year, stakes were high the year before. Um, I don't think this one, or I don't think we're approaching this one any different. Uh, like I said, we have a totally different team. We have experience. We have juniors out there. We started three sophomores last year. Um, so obviously things will be a lot different for us and we won't be able to judge till we get out there on the court and play a couple games. But I don't think we're looking at this season any differently than we have in the past. Do you guys feel that with that experience you have been able to start further ahead, so to speak, in the off season and, and you know, just kind of be ahead of where you may have been last season at this time? No doubt, no doubt. I think, um, you know, sort of like I said, having guys that, out there that have played together now a couple years, we've been able to put a lot more emphasis on defense because we haven't had to go over the offense as much. Um, you know, we have guys that have been running this thing for two, three years now. So just having that and being able to focus our energy and time on other things than in offense has really helped us and helped us grow. And like you said, we've been ahead of the curve here. Did you watch any of their game last night? I didn't watch any college basketball last night. My brother plays tonight at seven. That's the only college basketball game I care about. <laughs>